All right, I'll do this one more time. Last time I was talking and I wasn't recording. Anyways, I'm just gonna show you on T Renbiter. Uh, I think there's a newer version, this is 0.8.6.2. I'm pretty sure there's a newer version of this out. Um, but this is how to set your overclocks in Team Red Miner. So you'll come in here to your folder that you have it in. Uh, I don't even know which one it is. I already have it. I just pulled it from the show. I think it's this one. And then you'll edit it. Right click, edit. I gotta click on it. E, right click, edit. That'll bring up this section here. Um, and then you'll need to come in here to the, the, the README and open it up as a text file, even though it says MD file. Or you can come in here, this is a batch file, it's the same thing as the help. Then it'll run and bring all the command arg out command lines for you. Um, when you bring up your ETH bat file, you'll have to run it in um, administrator mode. So again, kind of like T-Rex Miner, you'll have to go in and here is, uh, it's labeled Team Red Miner application. You right click on that, you go to properties and you'll copy this target. Let's copy that target right here. And then you'll, right here, and then you'll add this dash and then teambreadminer.exe and you'll put it in quotations. Um, that will bring, uh, when you open up the batch file, it'll, it'll run the miner in administrative mode. Uh, this right here is all the normal stuff for in the regular batch file that comes pre-made for you. Um, this is just the name, that's my kid's name. And I think these two are also in on that regular batch file. Um, and this command dash dash enable commute, compute, I just keep saying commute. It'll, uh, that will switch your driver to compute mode. Uh, I'm scrolling through here to try to find the, oh, here's the clocks. Uh, so this will run your drivers in compute mode um, on this or this 580. If you don't run it in compute mode, it'll it'll get I think seven mega hash or eight mega hash. And if you put it in compute mode, which you can also in the AMD software, um, it'll get the full hash rate. Um, then this dash dash AUC that's for run and stuff. Uh, run this in Windows and it'll allow it to make changes um, in administrator mode. So you have to do this dash dash AU or UAC. Um, Team Red Miner is a little bit different than T-Rex Miner. You have to have all four of these arguments in here um, for it to work. If not, then it will shut down and exit the miner. Um, it won't even start up. So you have to have your core megahertz, your core millivolts, your memory megahertz, and your memory millivolts all in there. Even if you don't have them set, even if you want to set it to the defaults, you still have to have them in there or it won't work. So you have to do dash dash core megahertz. I have this one set at 1750. Um, the core millivolts at 870. Um, if I bring these down or this down anymore, it'll start to really affect the hash rate. Um, the memory megahertz, this is the XFX, uh, what is the 580 GTS, with the white fans that are supposed to be easy to replace. Um, it's got the Hynix memory, so I can bring this all the way up to 2400 megahertz and it doesn't change anything in the mega hash. Um, but I have it set at 2175, that's as low as it'll go without really pulling the mega hash down. Um, it's a super wonky card. And then uh, the memory millivolts, it took me forever to figure out. I didn't have this in here for a long time and it kept crashing, I couldn't figure it out. But um, you have to have all four of these in here. Um, the default in hot, well, if you look in Hive and you leave it blank, um, the default is 850 millivolts. Um, I found that in Hive on the question mark um, when you go into overclocks on some of the other 580s. I just got lucky and found that, and I put that in there, and it's and it starts to work now. And this is the fan control. It's the this one also does temperature. Um, let's see fan control here. I just copied and pasted it in there and then changed the, I don't know. It's in the help file, I think. Um, I don't know, here it is. Target temperature is 55. Yeah, so I just literally copied and pasted it. 
Uh, start fan and default configuration speed. Um, always keep fan between 20 and 80%. I should probably change that to uh, 100. Um, so I'll save that. There's also some stuff in here I need to, I need to do it. It's uh, uh, some of the watchdog stuff. Uh, the GPU or the temperature limit. I just want to set this to to shut down. Um, I need to put this stuff in there. I just haven't yet. Um, I need to do it on the T-Rex monitor too. Uh, but you can do multi. If you have multiple cards, you can you just separate it with a comma, and then you put the next um, GPU core clock. If you know you had another one that was like I don't know. 2100 you could put comma 2100 for the memory hertz, megahertz and then uh same thing if it's like in here like the some of the stuff for um like the clock timing um if it's you know, if you have a 5700 and a 50 or a 580 um the 580 doesn't have any any timing so you'll just come in here well it does have timing sort of but you'll if these are 580s and then your last one's a 5700, you'll just comma, comma, comma. That'll skip those first three 580s and then the one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you can um, copy and paste your uh, settings from MSI Afterburner directly into the batch file so you don't have to run two programs. You just run one. Um, if you have any questions, just hit me up and uh, I'll keep posting some videos. Um, I've been mining for about a year now, so um, I'm still learning, but uh, I do have some tricks. Um, all right. Thanks for watching, guys.